Welcome to the Pirate Handyman, where we teach you how to become more self-sufficient and save some coin for your treasure chest. If you dig what we're doing, join our crew. Hit that subscribe button down below. And if you hit that ship's notification bell, you'll be notified every time a new tip drops. So what we're going to do today is we have fixed a crack in the ceiling. And to finish it off, now we have to put texture. And we want the texture to match the rest of the ceiling. So what we've done is we've gotten everything sanded down and painted it because you have to paint and seal. So now we're going to put the joint compound on it, uh, sometimes called mud. Now, if you'll notice, a professional drywaller always has a nice pallet. You know, it's a piece of wood that's about 12 inches square and he can mix the mud on that. Well, since we're just doing a repair, I'm not going to go out and buy something like that or even attempt to make it. What I did is I just took a couple of paper plates and a piece of wood, used a roofing nail to nail it in the center, and this is going to hold perfect for what we're doing. So, grab my spatula here, load up the mud. Now, the way we're going to start here is I want to put a fairly thick coating of mud over where I've repaired. And once you get up close, you can see that it's very smooth here. And what I want to get is this type of texture. Now, if you're getting a type of texture that is the old popcorn ceiling or orange peel, you can actually get a spray that will do that. Uh, but to simulate this, that's much harder and it's much more expensive. You have to get a sprayer and all kinds of fun stuff. We're going to show you an easier way to do it. So first, we're just going to take our mud and apply it up here liberally. Now, unlike when we were doing the repair, I'm not worried about smoothing it out or anything. I just want to get a nice thick coat. I'm going to use the palette to keep the drip from going on the floor or on my shirt like I just did. You don't want to get it on too thick, but again, you're not looking for something that's really smooth. And I probably should be wearing goggles or glasses. Now that we've got the compound, the mud on the ceiling, now we have to texture it. And rather than you know, buying expensive sprayers and all that kind of fun, fun stuff. We're going to use grocery bag. How you say? Well, let me show you. Just going to put my hand in there. Take it and wrap it around. And get it to where it's all crinkly and crunchy like this. Push it into the mud and let it pull back down. You can see it's making all kinds of little peaks, which we want. Okay, you want to do this while the while the mud is wet. Now, in this case, since we just had this one run, I did the whole run at one time. Uh, generally, if you're going to be doing a whole ceiling like this or a big patch area, you want to do about a four by four section at a time. Just a general rule of thumb. All right, now that we've got all of this done, um, we're going to let this dry about 10 minutes or so. Uh, I wouldn't let it go any farther than that. Uh, if you have a quick drying joint compound, uh, probably two minutes is all you want to do. So we'll come back in a minute and I'll show you what we do. Okay, so now what we're going to do is you can take either a six inch spatula. It depends on how big an area you've got. Uh, I'm using a, a painting edger here. And what I want to do is uh, I want to use a very narrow angle to just barely take off the the peaks that you see here, all of these sharp peaks, and that's going to leave me uh, the splatter, da splatter drag or the, uh, the knockdown ceiling texture that I'm looking for. 
So I get a very shallow angle and just very lightly pull across. And as you can see, if you zoom in up here, now we've got the same type of texture that's out on the side of the ceiling here. So we've accomplished what we want to accomplish. Get a couple of these other ridges out. And that's how you do the texture. Once this dries, we'll paint it and you won't even be able to tell that there was a fix there. Thanks for joining us here on The Pirate Handyman, where we teach you how to become more self-sufficient and save coin for your treasure chest. Join the crew, hit that subscription button down below, and if you hit that ship's notification bell, you'll be notified every time one of these things comes out. And hey, it's free to join. Smooth sailing. <laughs>